Hey there, YouTube. So, today's video is going to be on ways to get the Scorpio man to apologize to you. So, you better stay tuned because I got the tea. No. Okay, I'm sorry to inform you guys, but the Scorpio man ain't gonna apologize. I don't even think he knows how to spell apology. And the way his pride is set up, he definitely is not gonna apologize when he does something that you don't like. However, I can show you ways to see an apology in the things he does. Okay, let me put it in another terms. I'm gonna show you ways to see that he's apologizing to you through his actions, okay? Bam, that's what I'm about to tell y'all. These are some signs that you will see from the Scorpio man that I'll let you know that he's trying to apologize because, mind you, he is smart and he is intuitive. And he is clearly aware when he does the things he does. So if he does something that makes you mad as his spouse or as his best friend or as your, his brother, he then did something to piss you off He's he's gonna try to make amends with you. He's definitely not the type to apologize to you, but he will try to make it up to you. As in, you know, if he missed a date with his girlfriend, he'll come home with a meal or something that he got from takeout, like you know, to make up for missing it. Or if he missed his kids' play, you know, then he'll want to write. You know, as soon as he can get the kid, take the kid to do something fun or you know um sit down and watch the reenactment of the play with the kid like he definitely tries to make up for things that he wrongs but he's not the verbal type to say i'm sorry i apologize for missing your play or for missing our date like <laughs> that was my scorpio man voice <laughs> like he is not the type to apologize and because because he sees things as if he can make them up at a later time like he never sees things as finished or closed that's why he's a fixed sign so he become when he becomes fixated on something being a certain way then he has to make sure it gets back to that level or make sure it gets back to that situation or make sure that the level gets back to cool how it was before he effed up so but at the same time i don't know what necessarily makes up of the scorpio pride but they all have it and they're not going to show their cards for anybody. You know what I mean? I guess it's to protect their, because they're so sensitive deep down inside, to protect anyone from playing with their feelings or playing with their sensitivities, they will come across as the bitch of the office. Or they will come across as the guy nobody wants to hang out with because he's always, like, um, looking at people in a in a suspicious type of way. Like, you know, like... He just he but but it's not necessarily that he's a bad guy to hang out or be around with. He just likes to read people before he interacts with them. And honestly, what could possibly be wrong with reading somebody first? But on the flip side of that is he's the type that if he misreads you, he's not gonna apologize for the misread. Or if, if he snubs you because he misread your actions, which are actions were towards him, he's not gonna apologize for snubbing you. He might, you know, include you into the next event. But he's definitely not the type to apologize for any past obscurities. And once again, that just stems down to he's there's he's somewhat of a know-it-all. Like actually both sides of the Scorpio are like that. The man and the woman. They're somewhat of a know-it-all. Because they have intuition, because they've been through a lot, because they are wise, they tend to feel like they're above reproach. So they're not going to apologize for any stance they took or anything they said because they're always back what they believe in, which is good. But because they're fixed, it's hard for them to see the error of their ways. <laughs> like they have to discover the error of their ways on their own. You can't force them or talk them into seeing the error of what they did or how they stung you. So therefore... You know, and knowing that they're the type to not apologize, they will once again make it up to you with a dinner, make it up to you with time spent, bake you something, whatever it is that is their signature on apologizing for things that they've done. 
they definitely will do that and you just have to pay attention to those steps because you got to stop expecting that apology it ain't coming just accept their form of apology their love language their communication language may not be a i'm sorry that's just not them so you got to take them for what it's worth and, and, and face value and read them at face value honestly and that's only because the scorpios they give you face value so why not take them at it you know so another reason why you're not going to get a specific verbal apology from a Scorpio. It's because they are not passive. They're not going to just say, I apologize to pacify your feelings or you. They definitely are not the type to do that. Like, because they're too true to their core and they're not passive. So, so they're not going to not be their self or true to what they believe is their core values to make you happy over an apology. Like, they're definitely not going to do that. They definitely going to stand their ground on that point. So being that they're, they have that way about them, you got to know this. Even if they really are sincerely sorry from the bottom of their heart, even if they know what they did hurt you, because I'm going to remind you they're an emotional sign, they're a water sign, they won't apologize. I mean, like literally, like how you would expect someone who did wrong to like cry and be have so much emotion and apologize when they really want to woo you over for forgiveness. Scorpio ain't going to do that. Like... But so that's why they, they say like, you know, like, um, like, but like, say like this, right? Scorpio is a sign of forgiveness, like on the flip side of that. So if you did them wrong, like they, they'll get their revenge. It might be a small revenge. It might be a long-term revenge. They will get their revenge. But after they finish getting their revenge and they see that you have totally suffered, they definitely will forgive you and try to renew just like the phoenix they burn into their ashes and they're born from their app they burn they they consume themselves with fire burn up and from those ashes are born a baby phoenix like that definitely is how the scorpio is um so with them not being the one to apologize like in a situation where they are the one that actually was in the wrong like it often makes people like upset with them or puts more fuel to the fire because they may be expecting that Scorpio to say I'm sorry and they're not. So, um but you know, they um they so that so that is the time where people get stung a lot by the Scorpio. They get stung a lot there because you know that you're pushing their pride, you know that you're testing them. And at some point you're not gonna get an apology and they're gonna sting you with their words or their actions like <laughs> It's like their nature to sting. It's it's like it's just in their nature to sting you. Like and then being that you're the person that's on the thinks that you're on the receiving end of the apology. So just imagine them not apologizing and stinging you. It's gonna really like suck. But just know that you're gonna have to be looking for other actions that coincide with them to see how they're apologizing to you for what they did. You know what I mean? So like just say if you missed an appointment, an, an important appointment that you were both supposed to go to because they were going to take you. Okay, they're going to try to make that up to you. They're 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 going to but they're going to be blunt like, well, well, you know, I got a flat tire and whatever happened, and you know, so it's like now whether they really got that flat tire or not, we can't say. But just you better take that excuse as their apology <laughs> for them not making it to the appointment. Like literally. That's how they operate, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that wraps up my video on ways that the Scorpio will try to apologize to you. I hope you liked um this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what video you guys want me to do next. All right, bye.